Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we're looking at something a little bit different. Uh, this is a the Nexto storage bridge. So this guy is a interesting kind of device. It is a box, weighs a couple of pounds, um, very ruggedly constructed. The basic gist of this device is that you have two um, solid state drives um, in these bottom two bays. Then you have two card reading modules in these top two bays. Um, I have the CFAST 2.0 installed and then the top one is a default which gives you um, C, uh, CFAST and SD. What you do is put in your cards um, and it extracts um, the contents of those cards onto the solid state drives. It lets you view the contents um, on the touch screen and it lets you, um, you know, check some of the data. It lets you uh, confirm that you have everything off your drives before you delete them or clear them again to shoot again. So typically on a film set, if you're going to be shooting more footage than you have storage on your cards for, you'll need a dedicated team member called a DIT or digital imaging technician that will be on set um, with a laptop and multiple hard drives. And what they'll do is once you finish your, um, fill up your first card, you keep shooting on your next card. They take the first card, they take it onto their computer, they transfer the files off onto two drives, hopefully. Um, they check that they're all there. Then they clear the card, give it back to you so that you can shoot on that one. Now, that's a system that's worked pretty well for a long time, but it's not for everybody. Um, if you're working remotely, right, you're out in the wilderness or on a mountain, you don't want to drag along a laptop, laptop power pack, um, hard drives, uh, ways to power the hard drives. It's just it's a lot of stuff. Um, or if you're um, working with a really small crew and you're not gonna have a de dedicated DIT, it can be really difficult um, for someone to drop what they're doing and clear the cards. So this little unit lets basically um, automates the functions of a DIT and lets you extract cards to two drives simultaneously, um, two solid state drives. And then at the end of the day, you take this home, you connect it to your main computer, um, uh, via USB 3 and you're able to um, get all the data that you shot during the day off this off these two drives clear them and then send it out ready for the next day what's great about this is that you can choose whatever um, modules they make them for um, the red mags they make them for all kinds of uh, different media capture as SSDs get faster and higher capacity you can upgrade those as well I played around with this a little bit when I first got it um, so you can see on one of the hard drives, it's going to tell me that there's two files. I can show the video. I can watch it back on the, on the screen to confirm that it's there. It doesn't necessarily play like every type of raw file. Um, it doesn't play the uh, CRMs from the Canon C200, but the way I got around this was recording proxy files as well. The MP4 proxy files that the, um, you can record to the SD card. And then I extracted both um, CFAST and SD and checked that they were both there and that they're both working. The construction itself is, is uh, super high grade. Yeah, the Nexto storage bridge is a really interesting device. It's something that um, filmmakers can use to back up their footage on set, um, to take their footage with them, um, to store photos if you were going on a really long um, trip without having to bring um, a dedicated laptop uh, to look at your photos, you can you can back them up um, to solid state drives in here. It really just gives you a lot more options as far as uh, backup and transportation are concerned. This doesn't take the place of a dedicated DIT, but it does add a lot of extra layers of safety and redundancy to your onset um, data workflow. And for that, it's definitely worth checking out. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you next time.